The Wi-Fi on a Galaxy S24 might suddenly disconnect due to a variety of reasons. It could be due to software glitches on the phone, issues with the router, or problems with the internet service provider. If you encounter issues like this, the first thing you need to do is to restart your phone, as it can help clear its memory, fix minor issues, and improve its performance. This action essentially gives your device a fresh start, which can often resolve app-related issues like Wi-Fi disconnecting. So press and hold the volume down and power keys for a couple of seconds. When the power menu appears, tap restart and then confirm you want to reboot the device. Once your phone is finished restarting, try to see if the problem is fixed. The next thing you need to do is to reboot your router. This can help resolve connectivity issues by refreshing its memory and re-establishing connections. To do it, unplug the power cord from the wall outlet. Wait for about 30 seconds to allow the router to fully power down. Plug the power cord back into the router. Wait for the router to reboot, which may take a few minutes. If this doesn't fix the issue either, then you need to forget the connection and reconnect to it. Forgetting and reconnecting to the network can help resolve connectivity issues by erasing the current network settings and establishing a fresh connection. Swipe down from the top of the screen, tap and hold the Wi-Fi icon, and then tap Details to access its settings page. Tap the gear icon next to the network and select Forget. Afterward, reconnect to the network. This process often resolves Wi-Fi disconnection issues. However, if the problem persists, then you need to reset the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings in your phone. This eliminates any network settings that may be causing the problem, such as incorrect configurations or corrupted files. To do it, launch settings and tap General Management. Tap Reset and select Reset Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings. Tap Reset Settings and then confirm it. The reset will only take a few seconds and it should be enough to fix a problem like this. But if it continues, then there could be a problem with the router itself. You better call your internet service provider and have it replaced. We hope this guide can help you. Thanks for watching.